What's up, this is Exclusive Auto Works. Today we're working on an E63 wagon, which we recently had it satin wrapped by Steck. And the top coat of it is already hydrophobic, so the water is gonna beat off and get trapped into bubbles instead of just sticking on. Um, so what we're gonna do is just a regular maintenance wash. We have the wheel bucket right here. This is just regular water and we will be using a Tuga wheel cleaner. It's different from iron, like the CarPro iron, because it has a degreasing and emulsifying agent, which actually reacts and degreases the iron rather than just reacting to the chemical. And we have a rinse and a wash bucket. For these two buckets, we'll just have regular water and we'll be using CarPro Reset as a nanotechnology um, cleaner. And as of right now, you can see the car has been, you know, kind of well maintained. It's not too dirty, but you know, it could use a little bit of scrubbing, mainly on the wheels. And yeah, so we'll just show you the wash process of how we'll be cleaning this car today. What we're gonna be doing is using a foam cannon to you know foam up the car. So this bottle, I'll be filling it up with about 900 milliliters of distilled water. The reason we're using distilled is because it has no minerals, so it won't leave any water spots. So I like to use warm water, but not hot, because sometimes when it's too hot, it could change how the chemical reacts to the um, car or the surface. And yeah, so we'll be using 900 ml of distilled water, and then we'll use a cap for a reset, shake it up, and then we'll spray the car down. Um, right here, we got a cap full. What I'm gonna do is use a funnel so that I don't spill nothing. And if you can see right here, we have boiling water because the water in the buckets is kind of cold, a little warm, but we'll kind of neutralize it to like a warm temperature. That way it's, you know, it's reacting better to the car as in rather than cold water. What you want to do is just shake it up a little. Like I said, you put the water first and then you add the chemicals. You just twist the top on and then you usually set it to the tightest setting and you'll set it to a wide spray, but not too wide. First thing that we like to do is clean the wheels since the wheels are the dirtiest part of the car. You know, it's closest to the ground. There's a lot of brake dust that's built up in iron. So what we do is rinse the wheel well also first, and then we rinse the wheel. And then what we do is spray down the face and the barrels with the Tuga wheel cleaner. And you let it sit so that it reacts with the surface. You allow it time to kind of dissolve onto the surface and activate the degreasing agent. And then I use all-purpose cleaner diluted four to one ratio. I use that for the tires and the wheel well. So after I finish cleaning the wheels first, I'll be using this to scrub in the rubber and the plastic. But here's the thing, to clean the wheels, you don't have to do it just one time and think it's done. It's, you're not a robot. So you're gonna attack it maybe two or three times. It should take you five minutes, typically minimum to clean a wheel and that's because it's the dirtiest part of the car. So you wanna really thoroughly clean the wheels and make sure that it's clean. So you can repeat this process not only one time, you can do it two, three, four times if you have to, just to make sure that it's clean. So first brush I used to like to use is um, this kind of pencil-like brush. I use it to clean mainly the face and certain parts of the creases that are part of the face. So you wanna go in a scrubbing motion and that's what really cleans it, not just wiping it. You have to scrub it so that way you're getting all throughout the surface. And like I said, you wanna do this process first and then you move on to the calipers. Then after that, you do the barrels. Um, usually if the barrels is large enough, you could use this barrel brush, it's just circular. Or if it's on a more tighter fitment wheel, you can use this one, but usually I like to use both. And what you want to do is just dip it in the bucket and 
just get in behind it. And another thing is, if you want to, you can check after with a light or you can clean the wheels with a light, but mainly I say the light is mandatory. That way you can see what you're cleaning to make sure that you're getting a good job of cleaning the wheels. And then the last thing I like to do is usually, if you don't have like a mitt, I like to spray some too good in my hands, rub it, and then just run my hands behind the back of the wheel. This part usually builds the most dirt that people miss. And you wanna get in the creases. And after that, you can rinse it off and see if you can move on to the next wheel. If not, you just repeat the process. And like I said, before you move on to the next wheel, use an APC to clean the tires and the wheel well. And also you want to try to get in between the calipers because sometimes your brush can't reach here. So you're going to get down below. All right, so what we did is just clean all the wheels, the tires, the wheel wells, and the exhaust tips. So now I'm about to rinse down the whole car and then foam it up. All right, um, what you wanna do is start from the top to the bottom so that, that way the foam just slides down due to gravity. Uh, and then you can just start foaming. All that's left is the back of the car. And if you come around the back, one thing I like to do that um, some people actually miss, I like to take off the license plate and the bracket. That way we're cleaning up the dirt behind it because there's a lot that builds up, which most people miss. Now you could get that done. And you just spray soap into the wash bucket. That way you have some nice lubrication on the microfiber. We use microfiber towels. I'm not sure the reason why, but typically me, I like the contact pressure rather than the thicker foam uh, microfiber ones. And then what you wanna do is just go in a back and forth motion. Usually you just wanna work on one panel at a time and then flip the side and you dip it back into the bucket and then you rinse and repeat. Now, if you can, what you want to do is put the windshield wipers in service mode. If you can't, then you just lift it up gently and just go underneath. You don't want to damage it. And just glide underneath, getting the plastic trim also. You want to hit these edges. Also clean the wipers if you can too. The front of the car is the last part. Usually I get these small pieces and get in here with the microfiber. I guess this is why we use it. And on top of that, most people like to use just a little quick detailer on the door jams to clean at the end. I usually like to use a microfiber while washing it. That way you don't scratch the dirt across the paint. Being that the door jams is always the thinnest part of the car that's painted. So yeah, this is a kind of safety procedure. Now it's time to rinse the car. The whole car has been washed. We're gonna take this tip. First thing I like to do is spray the floor. That way if it's not properly hooked up, it doesn't just shoot at the car. And just like how you film the car, you wanna start from top to bottom and then get into all the creases. Time to dry the car. So we're using the blow. This is nice because you can set it at a minimum or maximum so you can regulate the pressure of air. So just use this to modulate it. This is at minimum. And then like you wash the car, you want to start from top to bottom. 
cause hydrophobic, so it's gonna turn into water ball droplets, and it's just gonna glide right off. Like this. car is basically done so what we're doing is just going over the door jams um as you can see he had dirty wheels but now you literally call it ice now uh what we did was basically thoroughly clean the whole car like i said the door jams the underside of the car is actually clean if you want to check underneath like even this bottom piece is what we clean thoroughly. So you can wash the car in 20 minutes, but it takes us like about an hour and 15, but you understand the process that we do to get this as clean as we can. The grill is clean. These small pieces and the side pieces are even cleaned. So I don't think you could get any better than this. If so, then I don't know. I don't think that's possible, but you know, we're here at Exclusive Auto Works. One of the best detailing shops in Long Island. Um, all that's left is tire shine. Gotta clean the windows. And then the customer will be happy because he has a clean car now. But it's raining, so poor him. But it's a clean car, so job well done. Thank you guys for tuning in and catch us on the next episode of Exclusive Auto Works.